<laughs> and from one winner, I'm giving away something of my own today. And if you are looking for a quick and fun lunchbox idea for your little one, how does mini Cookie Monster pizza sound? Well, the best of both worlds has officially combined. Use a cookie cutter to cut those cute shapes like hearts and stars as your pizza base and then decorate with your favorite veggie toppings like Fry's original hot dogs, mini chipolatas and no meatballs. Vegan friendly, fun to make and tasty to eat. I feel like this is a winner of a recipe, Bali, because people that, are, uh, um, that don't eat meat are constantly saying, how can I make my dishes more exciting? So this is exactly what we're putting them onto. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. We're bringing Meat Free Mondays back to Afternoon Express. Do me, I'm so excited to get into this, but girl, you've got quite the challenge because I love myself some meats, but fries always delivers on flavor. That's the one thing. You know, the, the one easy part about all of this right now is that fries basically did all the work <laughs> for me. So all we need you to do today, Mama, is you're going to do the elbow grease thing as you always do. All we need is for you to mix up the batter or the dough for us for the pizza base. Mm -hmm. You've got some flour, sugar, salt, and yeast over there and some warm water to your right. And I've got all the topping so you can basically go in there mama the water just obviously eyeball it go in a little bit at a time but yeah. for me the part that I need to basically make is make those mini uh, cookie monster pizzas so children like adults eat with their eyes as well so we need to make sure that the food is inviting to them that's why we've got an array of colors over here Bali. I've got some vegan uh, cheese. I've got some red and green peppers, popping of pop of color. I've got some basil, some tomato, some red pepper, olives, uh, tomato uh, puree, as well as the pizza dough that you're basically showing us how to make right now. Yeah, I'm already adding my water. I see you, girl. So that's another thing. I don't know. You you do make your pizza from scratch, right? Uh-uh. You know? uh, and also, first of all, <laughs> setting up that expectation to me, why would I make my pizzas <laughs> from scratch? I mean, uh-uh, nangeke. I'm definitely the type to store by. That's why I'm so uh, loving the fact that here, you're putting me through my paces here, learning it from scratch. <laughs> so basically what you're doing there is mixing all those ingredients and once it's been proved and it's sat for a bit and it's become this type of texture, then we get going with it, right? Mm -hmm. It's basically sat for a bit, uh, it proved, it came to this texture where as soon as you can basically move the dough around without it sticking onto the surface, then you know that your dough is ready, okay. right? So all we're gonna do now is, let's just say Bali's made our dough for us. It's ready, it's been sitting. <laughs> We've got our dough and I'm gonna start cutting out those beautiful shapes that we're gonna be using today. Mm -hmm. And like I said, kids eat with their eyes. So what better way to invite them into having a dish than using shapes and stuff that they can actually rela relate to and also use it as an educational opportunity as well. Yeah, I love that. You know, every opportunity here that we're able to take when it comes to not only entertaining our kids but making it educational as well. I, I call it edutainment essentially. Of course. We're educating them when it comes to the food <laughs> but also entertaining them with the shapes. Correct. And the best thing about this is that we're using vegan friendly ingredients. Like if you see over here, Palace, so we've got our mini chipolatas, mm. we've got hot dogs and we've got no meatballs. So if your child is a fussy eater, do not worry because we've got them covered. No one, no one will want to put these down, exactly. You know, as soon as you've made them, they're basically going to want to make sure that they get their hands on them. Yeah, so pretty start, much. Yeah, <laughs> to start it off, I've got our different shapes that I've got over here. I'm starting with the star. You can make whatever, whatever kind of um, shapes you'd like. So I've got the star here. I've got, I know it's, it's mostly for cookies and for gingerbread men, but we're going to make pizzas, you know? I Why love not? it. There's no rules here. <laughs> There's no rules, of course. And then we've got a little doggy as well. And yeah. the one thing I love as well is because we're using um, our fries products, you know that the taste is definitely there. You're not going to miss out on the taste. Mm. You know, the flavor is definitely going to be there. I mean, the hot dogs, they basically work out. For anyone that loves their hot dogs, this is basically the perfect replacement. Yeah. It's good on the planet, good on your body, and good on the animals as well. I'm here for that, Dumi. You know, essentially for me, what's so special about what Fries is doing here and kind of reimagining uh, our menus and Correct. the ingredients we use on a daily basis is the fact that they've made it so accessible for the average South African. Correct. That's what I'm all about. I know my mom has not eaten meat for almost for 10 years now, oh, wow. a very, very long time. So she's essentially the person who introduced us to all things Fries. I think we started off with the burgers 
burgers to me. Oh. And can I tell you, those burgers were delicious. I almost forgot that there was no uh, meat in it. And I think that's what's so special here. A lot of people think that uh, when you're looking for meal or, or, or certain replacement, that it's a replacement mm -hmm. or a substitute. No, we're doing something completely exactly. independent and on its own here, keeping it meat free. So the flavor will not taste like meat. Don't expect it to. <laughs> and even better, because that's when we get to enjoy that plant-based diet to the max. Correct. And the one thing I also love about this is it's plant-based and it's naturally cholesterol-free, high in fiber, and it's non-GMO, mm. non -GM, meaning that it is not genetically modified, guys. We've not put anything that's not supposed to be in there. Yeah. When we say plant-based, we mean plant-based. We're not talking about those uh, meat dishes when they say it's supposed to be beef <laughs> and then it's donkey. No, we are saying, when we say, <laughs> when we say it's non-GM, we mean that, you know? I love that. So basically to start topping these beautiful pizzas that are going to the oven, we've got an array of ingredients here. I've started mm. with our vegan cheese. Um, you can basically use any of these. I mean, I've got the mini hot dogs that I've got here. Love that. that. I'm just going to take out for you, Bale, just so you can see they're so versatile, you know. Mm. You could basically even use them from the packaging, you know. The one thing I love about it is that you can take it straight from the packaging mm. and you don't even have to worry because, like I said, the kiddies eat with their eyes first. So you can basically go in with one little chipolata there or rather one little hot dog there, another one over there, top it with a bit more cheese on top. Also, Dumi, as I'm just grabbing this packaging, first of all, the colours pop out. I mean, this will definitely stand out in the supermarket. Market. Correct. But not only that, you're doubling up on the vegan goodness here. Correct. We've got our hot dogs that are courtesy of fries, but also the cheese that you're using it's is vegan, vegan cheese. Correct. So basically, we're staying to our plant-based uh, point. When we say that it's plant-based, we mean to, it's plant-based in its entirety, not just one part. Mm -hmm. So basically, this goes into the oven to bake for about 10 minutes, basically you want the cheese to melt. Once it's melted, then your dish is ready. And your uh, once your dough is cooked, and you know that that's done. This is pretty much good for a starter at a dinner party, or of course, if you're snacking, watching your favorite movie, or of course, Zuri Hall on television, <laughs> you know, girl, I'll just be snacking, watching and enjoying. L delicious, lovely. Thank you for helping us this Monday. Only a pleasure, Bali. And whether you are packing lunches, lunch boxes, or feeding kids at home, Fries makes it easier to feed your kids healthier options because they are 100% plant-based and yummy. Better for your health, better for the planet, and better for all the animals. Head to fryfamilyfood.com to have all these recipes for, mm. because they're family friendly and they're great for the entire family.